let me welcome you dear students today i am going to discuss as you like it written by william shakespeare so let's start with the introduction of william shakespeare dear students william shakespeare was born april 23 1564 in stanford upon avon he was baptized on april 26 William was the third child and the first son of John and Mary Shakespeare. John Shakespeare was a widower. Who is widower? Widower basically is called a maker of leather goods such as purses, belt and gloves. Dear students, let me tell you that John was also a prominent man in Stanford by 1560 he was one of the 14 members of town council. Shakespeare attended the Stanford King's Grammar School and the uh, the school taught boys basic reading and writing. On November 28th, 1582, William married his cousin Anne Hathaway of Stanford and uh, the age of the Anne was 26 and William was just 18. William's first child So Stanna was baptized in Stanford sometime in May 1583. So we have a, we have not accurate figure about it. So his twins Hammond and Judith were born in February 1585. Hammond uh, Williams only son died in 1596 at just 11 years old. from the time after this twins are born until 1592 little is known about him but we know that the, he moved to london to write for the theater by 1592 shakespeare was established in london as a playwright and a poet in january of 1593 the theater in london closed because of the plague and remained closed until spring of 1594 shakespeare wrote much of his poetry during this time in december of 1594 along with will camp richard burk and four others shakespeare started a new theater company called the lord chamberlain's men By 1599 the Lord Chamberlain's men had become the most popular acting group. In 1599 the theater a popular theater owned by James Burke was dismantled because of property right and rebuilt along the Thames Thames River and was renamed the Globe. Shakespeare became part of on of the I uh, means he just want to become the honor of and Shakespeare become part of honor of the new theater and become wealthy in 1603 queen elizabeth died and james basically six of St- uh, scotland become the james one of the england so shakespeare and his friends changed their acting company's name to the king's men and become more popular than ever So let me discuss that records reveals that Shakespeare revised his will a month before he died on April 23rd 1616 He is still buried at the Holy Trinity Church in Stanford So Shakespeare wrote the uh, epitaph that was inscribed on his tom- tombstone as a warning to grave robber means he taught us that good friend for jesus sake for beer to dig the dust and close here blessed be ye men that spear the stone and cursed be he that moves my bone so basically he just want to get away the robber from his tomb so let's discuss Uh, the play so let me tell you that this is a play by william shakespeare and as you like is a pastoral comedy as you know that this comedy is written by shakespeare and believed to have been written in 1599 and first published in the first folio in 1623 
द प्लेज फर्स्ट परफॉर्मेंस इज अनसर्टन दो अ परफॉर्मेंस एज विल्टन हाउस इन सिक्सटीन जीरो थ्री हैज बिन सजेस्टेड एज अ पॉसिबिलिटी इट रिमेन्स अ फेवरेट अमंग ऑडियंस एंड हैज बिन अडॉप्टेड फॉर रेडियो फिल्म एंड म्यूजिक थिएटर इट वॉज फर्स्ट प्रिंटेड इन द कलेक्टेड एडिशन ऑफ शेक्सपियर्स प्ले नोन एज फर्स्ट फोलियो ड्यूरिंग सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट मी टेल यू दैट विलियम शेक्सपियर नेवर पब्लिश एनी ऑफ हिज प्ले एंड देयर फॉर नन ऑफ द ओरिजिनल मेन्यू स्क्रिप्ट हैज सर्वाइव्ड एटीन अनऑथराइज वर्जन ऑफ हिज प्लेज वर हाउ एवर पब्लिश ड्यूरिंग हिज लाइफ टाइम इन खोर्टो एडिशंस बाय अनस्क्रिप्टुलस पब्लिशर There were no copyright law protection Shakespeare and his works during the Elizabethan era. A collection of his work did not appear until 1623, a full seven years after Shakespeare's death on April 23, 1660, when two of his fellow actor John Hummingus and Henry Condell. posthumously recorded his work and published 36 of williams play in the first folio so it is believed that as you like it was first performed between 1599 and 1600 so we don't know about the exact time that's why we are calling it must be 1599 to 1600 in the elizabethan era there was a huge demand for new entertainment and as you like it it would have been a uh, produced immediately following the competition of the play the number of word in the script according to the complete public domain text is 22960 so uh, this was about little bit introduction now we are going to discuss more about it let me discuss that the play's action is set in the forest of eden in warwenshire and shakespeare's mother name was eden so uh, it is assumed that shakespeare has used this forest of eden from her from the uh, name of his mother Uh, the play suggests both french and english characters and places seemingly nowhere and everywhere a magical place where anything can happen thomas lodge wrote rosalind yuffes golden lakes in 1590 and shakespeare borrowed freely from its characters and plot so he excise a bloody battle between the feuding dukes and replaces it with the fadrick's conversion and retirement he invents the characters of jacques uh, touchstone audrey means they, they are the character of the shakespeare play so john lilly wrote yuffes the autonomy of wit in 1579 the previous mentioned arcadia 1590 so this was little bit about the significance of the title so now we are going to discuss the summary of the play so let me discuss that duke senior banished and unsuppressed uh, by the by his own brother duke frederick now lives in the forest of ed arden so with his noblemen who are basically loyal to him so senior's daughter rosalind has been allowed to remain at court with frederick daughter celia but she suddenly incurs frederick's displeasure and is banished so celia decide to run away with her and they leave for arden with rosalind disguised as a man and accompanied by the touchstone a clone so uh, rosalind changes her name to genmaid and celia to elena so let me discuss first how the story starts means arland who is the com- who is complaining about his elder brother to his servant adam 
and tell him that and tells him that his brother is doing injustice to him olivo arrives there and orlando tells about his feeling that you are not doing justice to me as orlando left charles arrived there charles is basically the uh, minor character in this who is basically a rattler and tells the new duke has banished his brother duke senior and duke senior is struggling in the jungle of eden but his daughter is not going with him so basically duke frederick didn't uh, banish his uh, his daughter so be, uh, because rosalind is a good friend of celia duke frederick want to be happy his daughter so charles asks oliver to explain your brother that you have fight between us means basically he just want to tell him that they have fight between the both if he will not stop i'll kill him basically he is a very strong man he is basically a wrestler who always wins the wrestling so he just want to tell the oliver uh, to withdraw the name of his brother from this fight his name uh, basically otherwise he will be killed so uh, i can tell you students that oliver is basically the brother of Orlando and Orlando is protagonist in this story and he is the youngest son of Sir Colin De Boys. So uh, basically, Oliver just want to kill his brother because he just want the uh, the everything, the fully property of his father. So he also send his brother for wrestling match, but Orlando wins the wrestling match basically. So let me discuss here that. um oliver asks charles i have tried my best but he is interest, interested in fight and he doesn't want to withdraw his name he is in mood of winning the wrestling and he wants to be to you so charles leaves the place by saying let's see who will win the wrestling orlando or me now we talk about the rosalind uh, and basically the celia who uh, basically here the rosalind whom celia is comforting the rosalind because celia's father has banished rosalind's father's uh, rosalind's father basically uh, basically we can talk about that uh, here uh, here the duke senior was banished by the duke frederick who is the father of celia that's why uh, here we can say that rosalind was very sad just because of his father banishness then uh, we can see that here a servant arrives and tells them both a wrestling match is going to start between the wrestler charles who is basically a very strong man and a new boy the name of the boy is orlando after listening the news both celia and rosalind became become worried about the new boy so we can simply say that they become uh, basically because charles is a dangerous fighter and he will kill the boy so rosalind goes to the orlando and request him to withdraw his name he says uh, sorry she says you are too young for this fight but orlando doesn't bother because uh, rosalind uh, means Ro he doesn't know about the rosalind and celia but he likes her so he doesn't bother the advice of celia and rosalind and goes to the fight and luckily he wins the match uh, this is the first scene basically this play is written in five acts So in the next scene, Rosalind and Celia both are talking about the Orlando, and Celia asks her, means we are talking about the Rosalind. I think you like Orlando. Then Duke Frederick arrives, and he asks the Rosalind to leave the play. Miss, she just leave the uh, palace and go to your father. Means otherwise you will be killed. And Duke Frederick leaves. the celia asks the rosalind doesn't worry 
I'll go with you. The they both cousin means we are talking about the cousins. They uh, disguise into a man and leave this palace for the forest of Eden. So Rosalind and Celia disguise and go to the forest to find Rosalind's father, means Duke Senior, and take a fool with them. And the name of the I means he was the fool of court, and the name of the fool was Touchstone. So we are going to discuss now means what is going here. Let me discuss that before they leave, Rosalind falls in love with one of the son of Roland de Bois, Orlando, who is ruled and hated by his elder brother Oliver. So Orlando foils Oliver's plan to have him killed in a match against the Duke chief wrestler Charles by defeating the champion. So Orlando is then advised by the Lee boys. Sorry, it is Lee Bu to leave the court and he flees to Arden with his old servant Adam. They are starving when they encounter Duke, Duke Senior who takes them in delighted to discover that Orlando is the son of his old friend Sir Roland. So let me discuss that means we find the next scene when we find that the Duke Senior is enjoying the hunting with his companion because his companions are loyal and full, uh, means faithful to him. While the palace means we are talking about the palace when Duke Frederick found that his daughter is missing and uh, she left the palace. Duke Frederick gets angry and arrests the Oliver because he was thinking his daughter and Rosalind are with Orlando. On the other hand, we are talking about Orlando has left the palace, I mean sorry, place with the servant Adam and went to the forest of Eden. He taught his brother, means he, he just thought that his brother Oliver wants to kill him. So uh, we are then we are going to discuss about means the both means uh, Rosalind and Celia who are basically uh, who are also in the forest of Aden and they met with the two shepherds and the name of the shepherds are Silvis and Karen. Uh, they are talking and uh, means they both talking and learn to Silvis love for Thebes a shepherd. So basically uh, we we talk about that means he, uh, here we just find out that they both are in love and a uh, the we are going to discuss here that they buy the pastors and herd from them and decide to live as a shepherd touchstone spend much time in the company of audrey a country wretch who is loved by the william eventually wooing him wooing her himself so jack is a melancholy nobleman of duke senior company becomes fascinated by the touchstone so basically they spend much time talking to him so orlando leaves love message for rosalind uh, all over the forest which she is in due course when the two girls meet orlando again uh, gamet pursued uh, Orlando to treat him as his Rosalind so so that he may uh, practice wooing. So Frederick believing Celia and Rosalind to have fled with Orlando sends Oliver after his brother treating so basically threatening to to take the D boys lands if Oliver returns without him. Then we find that Oliver is saved from a lion by Orlando and the two brothers are reconciled. Oliver relates the story to the two girls and falls in love with Celia. So basically we find the here means Oliver is the lover of the Celia and the Orlando is the lover of the Rosalind. So Phoebe has fallen for uh, Genmaid which caused some confusion until Rosalind reveals herself. Uh, then agrees to marry Silvius. So Rosalind is reunited with her father and marries Orlando. Oliver marries Celia. Touchstone marries Audrey. 
so the third son of the roland jacques arrives to announce that frederick has intended to invade the forest with an army but on his way he met a religious man who converted him from his harsh way and he was now begun a religious life so uh, jacques decided to join him duke senior has his land and crown restored so this is basically the story of the as you like it now we are going to discuss about the characters so we are going to discuss here the major character the first character is rosalind so the rosalind is the daughter of duke senior rosalind considered one of the shakespeare's most delightful heroine in independent minded strong willed good hearted and terribly clever rather than sink off into defeated exile rosalind uh, resourcefully uses her trip to the forest of arden and as an opportunity to take control of her own destiny when she disguises herself into a gimmick a handsome young man and offer herself as orlando's tutor so you can say that rosalind is a beautiful character uh, written by the william shakespeare because she is a female at the time they don't fascinated the female but here uh, shakespeare has uh, written a strong woman character uh so the next one is the orlando so we are going to discuss about the orlando means who is the youngest son of the sir roland de bois and uh, a young brother of oliver Orl- orlando is an attractive young man who has languished without a gentleman's education or training orlando cares for the aging adam in the forest of arden and uh, later risk his life to save oliver from a hungry lion and prov- uh, basically proving himself a proper gentleman he is the most obvious romantic match for rosalind so means we can find here orlando is the basically a protagonist of the story now we are going to discuss about the celia who is an other character and the daughter of duke frederick and rosalind's dearest friend so celia's devotion to rosalind is unmatched as uh, means evidenced by the uh, by his by the decision of her to follow her cousin into the exile to make the trip serious assume the disguise of a simple shepherd and calls herself elena as uh, elucidated by her extreme love of rosalind and her immediate so basically immediate devotion to oliver whom she marries at the end of the play so the next uh, basically we are going to discuss the next character that is now is the oliver oliver is the elder brother of orlando and the elder son of uh sir ros uh, sorry sir roland de bois so we are going to discuss here that he he fraud with his brother and exile or we can simply say that expropriate him from his father's property he also sent his brother for wrestling match and orlando wins the match means luckily or miraculously so this is about the oliver now we are going to discuss about the duke senior who is the father of rosalind and rightful ruler of the duke dome in which the play is set having been banished by his own brother or the upcoming means unsurprisingly uh, frederick means that the name was the duke frederick so duke senior now lives in exile in the forest of adern with a number of loyal men including lord emmons and jacques jacques was basically the third son of uh, means or the brother of the uh, basically the orland and oliver so uh, the next character is duke frederick so basically here we are talking about duke frederick who is the uh, new duke of 
means new duke and the brother of senior and uh, means and uh, means unsurprisingly he he on the throne and duke frederick cruel nature and volatile temper are displayed when he banishes his niece and uh, rosalind from court without reason so uh, means that's why his own uh, daughter celia cannot mitigate his uh, unfound or means unfounded anger uh, demonstrate that intensity of the duke hatefulness so uh, this is about the major character now we are going to discuss about some minor characters and uh, the charles charles here are means here is discussed that charles is the basically the character um, or the wrestler who uh, who is means we can say that here who is basically chosen for the fight and uh, here we can say that the oliver who basically wants to uh, wants to kill his brother means he wants to uh, charles to kill his brother so touchstone here uh, is an other minor character who is basically the court means fool of the court adam adam is the servant of orlando who uh, stay with the uh, orlando so the the uh, next minor character is these two shepherds and the name of the corin and silvius who basically uh, represent that how shepherd lives and how celia and rosalind I mean talk to him talk to them so this is about the minor characters now we are going to discuss about the themes so here we find there are so many themes in it the first theme Uh, is in this play we, we find the contrast between within the families is obvious the first example is the duke senior has been overthrown by his brother frederick who has stolen his title and other example is when oliver hires a uh, wrestler to kill his younger brother so uh, we find the families means how families are basically obvious in it and the next one is the theme exile here we find that exile is an other theme of as you like it because a few of the characters are forced to leave their homes such as duke senior rosalind and orlando so others instead of decide decide to leave the home because they are convinced it is the right thing to do like duke band of lord and celia and adam so the next theme is homeroticism so it is presented in as you like it when rosalind dresses a young boy means gamet she attracts orlando's attention although he is meant to be in love with the female also rosalind and celia have and almost too close relationship so the next theme is the delight of love we find delight of love in it means they both are means we find two types of love in it the first one is between the celia and uh, sorry the first one is the rosalind and the oliver and the second one is if i am not wrong means the first one is between the orlando and uh, rosalind the second one is the oliver and celia uh, now we are going to discuss about the foolishness and folly uh, so let me discuss that the foolishness is one of the theme of as you like it many of the characters do many foolish thing for love in this play touchstone is the main fool and although he is one who is able to see the foolishness in others the fool do think he is wise but the wise man knows himself as a fool so uh, we are talking about the touchstone means he is means he is basically um, we find him as a foolish character or the fool but he is actual wise man in this play Uh, and the next and the delight of love the delight as you like it spoof many of the conventions of poetry and literature 
dealing with love such as the idea of love is a disease that brings suffering and and a torment to the lovers so basically we can say that it is an assumption that the male love may male lover is the slave or the servant to of his mistress these ideas are central fe- basically the features of the country love tradition which greatly influenced european literature for hundreds of years before shakespeare time and the next one is the malleability of the human experience so jekes phil- uh, basically philosophizes on the stages of human life like man passes from infancy into the boyhood becomes a lover a soldier and a voice civic leader and then year by year becomes a bit more foolish until he is returned to his second childness and mere avian um the next one is the urban life versus the rural life we find the pastoral literature thrives on the contrast between life in the city and life in the country often it suggests that the uh, oppression of the city can be remedied by a trip into a country's therapeutic wood and field and that a person's sense of balance and rightness can be restored by the conversions without uncorrupted so uh, we can simply say that means here the uncorrupted are between the shepherds and the shepherdess this type of restoration basically a uh, restoration in turn enable one of the return of the city a better person capable of making the most of urban life so this is all about the themes of the these means they are the basic themes we had the, we have many other themes that is quite uh, shorter than the uh, these so i am going to discuss only the main themes then we are going to discuss about the orlando's uh, symbols so the first one is the orlando's poem uh the poem that orlando nails to the trees of eden are the testament of his love of big uh, love for the rosland and the slain deer um is jekes and the other lords in duke senior's party kills a deer so jekes proposed to set the deer's horn upon the hunter head for a branch of victory to an elizabethan audience however the slain deer would have uh, signaled more than just an accomplished arch so this is about the deer uh, the next one is the gamet basically the rosland choice to alternative identities in is very significant so gamet is a standard symbol for homosexual love so this is little bit about the play and uh, the play about as you like it in which we have discussed basically the introduction of the writer we have discussed the summary we have discussed the title significance we have discussed the characters themes and symbols thank you so much allah hafiz